Welcome back guys, uh, I've decided to do another beer review, uh, this time, uh, out of the new beers that I bought the other day, this one's from the Chapel Brewery, from a little place called Duddleston Heath, uh, local to where I am, I've never heard of them before, and it's like a, a small supermarket chain that, uh, that actually had this in stock, so I'm guessing they're sort of like helping a local brewer to try and get their name out there, so uh, yeah. It's from Chapel Brewery, like I said, cracking label. I really do like that. And you can't see it on the video, but you can tell this is very much a small brewery, somebody just starting out. Uh, it's a bottle of their Angel Share, coming in at 4% in a 500ml bottle. It was $1.99 a bottle, uh, you know, maybe for a starter brewery. It may be shit and it may be a waste of money, but I'm quite looking forward to it. As you can see the little labels on the side, it's very much sort of like a, a little family run sort of business I'm guessing. Uh, to get onto the beer, this is a light blonde session beer using German hops and British malts. Uh, it says delicate floral notes with a herbal spicy taste. Uh, so I'm quite looking forward to this. Uh, I, I hope it's as good as it sort of comes across. Uh, it's bottle conditioned. So uh, any second now, I'll get it cracked open and we'll get going. So just bear with me. <laughs> That's it, I'm back, I'd forgotten the bottle opener. Very amateurish, I know. So uh, let's get it open, get it in the glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on there, you probably won't see that. Let's put it right up, see what we get. Bottle condition, so there's going to be lots of floaty bits hopefully in the bottom. Uh, it's certainly not full of carbonation. I'm looking at it. Very little carbonation in there. No real sort of head. I'm hoping that's not a bad sign. It's amber in colour and slightly hazy. When you tilt the glass you can certainly see, maybe not in the video, but you can certainly see that the bubbles are chasing chasing the top of the beer, so uh, let's get in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, floral. And a spiciness to it. It's very different to what I've ever had before. Uh, I'll be honest, it's, the floral sort of thing is a bit perfumey. But it, I mean, it smells okay, so let's dive in I suppose and have a try and see what we get cheers hmm give it another go I'll take another mouth and pour some more in undecided on this yet uh, it's <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna have to go again three minutes in I'm fucking ain't even giving you an opinion on the beer yet. it's got very much a golden ale sort of floral taste to it which if I'm perfectly honest, it's not my kind of thing. Uh, it's very thin in the body, but it doesn't taste watery. Uh, I would actually say, taste wise on the beer, for something that's 4%, for me, it's certainly drinking. I would say it's drinking a bit stronger than that, if I'm totally honest. Uh, it's it's floral. It's Belgium-esque, if you like. It's it's very. Even though it's, you know, it's like German, German hops and British malts. It has a 
a Belgium feel to it. But it really does lack a bit of carbonation in there for me. It could certainly do with that little bit more. But saying that, saying that, after pouring the rest in, it's getting sweeter and it's getting better the more you drink it. I'm certainly not going to say it's a fantastic beer, but there's promise in there. So, uh, I don't want to slate them because they're clearly a brand new sort of brewery. Excuse me. And people starting out. Uh, and they're probably very new to it. Taste wise, it's, it's not too bad to be fair, taste wise. It could do with having a bit more body, but being 4%, maybe that doesn't help it. And it could do with being a bit more bit more carbonated not lots but just do with a bit more carbonation in. but it's okay to be fair uh, I'm gonna be nice it's 199 for a big bottle now yes you can buy some bigger branded stuff for less from a supermarket but this this is a little local brewery that are obviously trying to make a go of things so I don't know how much beer they've done. I've obviously got five varieties. But it's not bad. I've I've had worse. I've had worse beers. Uh, I think what is going for it, for me, is it is it's definitely going along the lines of a Belgium ale. So that I for me that's a good thing. Uh, so I'm obviously waffling on a bit now. So we'll we'll finish we'll finish a review. Uh, it's not an excellent beer. Uh, I don't know how many beers they've done, but this this if they've only just sort of started, it's certainly not terrible. Uh, it's certainly got promise, and hopefully the brewery have promise, which I'll find out after having a few more beers. Uh, highly unlikely that most people are going to be able to get hold of this because I only live in a small area. But it's nice to try it from a new brewery. So, uh, I mean, if somehow you can manage to pick it up, maybe give it a go. Uh, if nothing else, just to help uh, a little brewery trying to make it, make a go in this world. Uh, so, hopefully you've liked my video. I'm sorry if I waffled on too much. Uh, please feel free to comment. Uh, feel free to like my video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, as I've said before, much appreciated everyone that has uh, subscribed. Uh, I'm not in here to make money on. I think it's all a bit of fun, but it's nice that if people are enjoying it, it makes it more more fun for me. Uh, so, whatever you're drinking, enjoy what you're drinking. I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you on another one tomorrow, no doubt. Good night, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>